Hi, Dara here from Hive Alive, the world's number one BC supplement. So we're always banging on about why you should use Hive Alive, why it's good for your bees, uh, the benefits of it and all that. I thought today we might just take a slightly different tactic and talk about what happens if you don't use Hive Alive. So at this point, probably most beekeepers know about the scientific validation on Hive Alive, how it's, it's the only feed supplement to have proven that if you use Hive Alive long term, you get long term health benefits, uh, low disease levels, more product productivity. But let's talk about that in reverse. So if you don't leave, use Hive Alive, you're setting yourself up for, for trouble. So the main idea about Hive Alive is it's keeping pathogen levels low in the colony, in particular Nosema. So if you don't use Hive Alive, Nosema levels build up. And Nosema, as most people know at this stage, uh, although it doesn't directly cause colony mortalities, it does significantly weaken colonies. Uh, anything that, any disease that is destroying the lining of your gut and preventing the absorption of food into your, into your gut and because the lining is destroyed, making you more vulnerable to picking up other diseases because pathogens can come in through the gut lining. Any disease like that is going to be a, a compromise on, on, on bee health. Uh, and when we're talking about millions of spores per bee in the gut, that's a significant compromise. The bees will survive with Nosema, but they won't, uh, they won't thrive. And that's where if you don't use Hive Alive, what you're looking at is, is lower productivity. You're going to have fewer bees that are not going to build up as quick as spring in springtime. And then instead of having fewer bees, you're going to have smaller amounts of honey coming in in the summertime because your bees aren't going to be as strong as healthy. They aren't going to be able to fly as long because they've got disease in them. Uh, they aren't going to be, be as productive. So let's have another thing of, of what happens if you don't use Hive Alive. We know in studies that using Hive Alive, you have uh, lower overwinter mortality. Brilliant, lower overwinter mortality, less few, fewer colonies, uh, uh, more colonies in the spring than you'd, you'd banked on initially. The great thing about that is for the price of around a euro or a dollar per hive, that means that you are additionally protecting your hive. If Hive Alive saves one colony and a colony replacement costs you what? One, two, three hundred dollars, depending on what you're getting, the size of the colony. Isn't that investment well worthwhile? So by using Hive Alive, by keeping your colonies healthy, by keeping the, 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 the pathogen level low in colony, not just the seam of fowl brood and chalk brood as well, your, your, your colonies are stronger and better able to defend against other factors like an a, a, a issue with pesticides or, 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 or an issue of you know, drought or, or, or a very long winter. Healthier bees, just like healthy humans, are going to survive better, are going to thrive better it, it, then, then weaker or compromised, compromised uh, animals are, are, are humans. So instead of looking at Hive Alive uh, as, a, as a treatment, better look at Hive Alive, as a, uh, Hive Alive as an insurance policy for your bees, ensuring that your colonies do well, ensuring that they overwinter well, ensuring that they're strong and productive and that you do the best beekeeping you possibly can. 